great to see you back in the room where the uh, wall was. Uh, for anyone who hasn't been watching the videos, I removed a wall lately. And um, this is uh, me renovating a 15 grand house. And it's going swimmingly. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, today is gonna be a clear up. This and uh, the bags, well the former wall that was just here, that needs to go to the tip. <gasps> but it gets quite interesting because uh, where we removed the terracotta tiles in the room just next to this one, future ensuite bathroom, we're gonna be digging, digging out some dirt. Um, hence why we have to go to the tip first, because I want to stay on top of my tip runs, or the dump if you're American, um, to dump the rubbish progressively. I don't want it to all build up, because I only have a car to transport it. I don't have a van, don't have a trailer. It's just me, myself and I, <coughs> renovating this 15 grand house. Happy days, couldn't complain. Couldn't be happier, in fact. But, um, no, there is no but. There is no but. Let's just carry on. Let's just, just, just get to it. Oh yeah, one thing I will say is uh, I get asked, do I have any kind of time frame for the renovations and budget? Uh, I will do a video on that in the future. So remind me, remind me, and I'll do a video about that. But for now, let's just crack on with some work. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's still some left, just a little bit, and I'm out of those uh, canvas bags that I use. And for anyone who's curious why I use bags as opposed to um, like bucket or, or whatever, uh, it's because carting the bags up and down the stairs there, it's hard to point, there, there we go, uh, up and down the stairs, it's um, bags are the most manuable. Manuable? You know, they're easiest to carry, basically, and I can fill them up as I want, uh, as opposed to like a round dustbin or something, uh, would be quite difficult to manoeuvre. So that's why I use bags, and they're really good, the heavy duty bags. So I got them from the building shop, super cheap. So there you have it. Now let's go to the tip so we can free up the bags. First time going to the tip locally, so it's quite exciting. That's it, we got it all in the car. Time to go to the tip. Oh we sweating baby. Nothing like a bit of sweat equity as they say. Sweat My local village by the way, it's quite nice. I'll have to show you one day. But first Gotta get renovating. Renovating. Turn it 
took that corner a bit fast. <laughs> Oops. Alright, let's ask the man where the thing goes. Bonjour! J'ai des briques comme ça. Bonjour. Ouais. Le Gravas. Gravas, et c'est lequel Ah, 5 Ouais. Ok. Très bien, ça marche. Merci. De rien. The uh, gentleman who works here, very pleasant guy. Lovely guy. Let's get this unloaded. Well, what a lovely experience that was. First time going to the tip, my local tip or dump for the Americans. And I'm very pleased. We got everything we wanted done. Our bags are now empty, ready to be refilled. And of course, it would be a lot more efficient if uh, I could swap this car for a van or something like that. But uh, you gotta make do with what you got in life. And a van is something I have not got. And in fact, they're, they're quite sought after vans can't really get them cheap here in France uh, unless you get like a really beaten up one and you, you can't easily go wrong with vans because um, some tradesmen who are of the dodgy variety usually abuse their vans a little bit as well uh, like having them overweight overloading them and going way too fast um, just just abusing abusing them really so gotta be careful I'd rather buy a, a tidy one but that's not for now this car's gonna have to double up as a van anyway let's get back to the house okay back from the tip we've got some empty bags so we can carry on um, well clearing up as we go That little area 
is now clear. In fact, this room is uh, much tidier than what it once was. Uh, so now we can finally move on to the dirt floor. Da, da, da. Let's take a look at it. This is the um, room that had the terracotta tiles that I previously <gasps> removed. Um, and now we are going to start removing the actual dirt floor because this, this floor, the whole thing is, is sagging. It's dodgy. It's dodgy. It's gone dodgy. It was, it was good when it was done, probably over a hundred years ago, but now it's dodgy. So we're going to remove it. I should also say that I've got no idea what I'm doing, but that's the beauty of YouTube. And you can watch me make a mess of things and make many mistakes and then you'll correct me in the comment section and I will either take no notice or I will take notice if, if it's important enough. Unbelievable how, how deep this dirt floor is, unbelievable. I'm taking my sweet time with this because if I rush it, well, I don't want to fall through the floor, is what I'm trying to say. Ah, Ryan, you work too slow. You're lazy, Ryan. Slowly but surely. Piece by piece. Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay, so I've cleared a fairly um, large area of where the um, beam is sagging or broken into underneath. Um, and I've made a discovery. Oh, this is, oh, this is bad. Oh wow, the wood, the wood, this is, this is wood under the dirt floor and it is rotten, it is rotten, it's no good, it is corrupt. Um, oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh. Let's take a closer look. Here's the area I have <sighs> dug out. So basically that was there, it's upside down, but you get the idea, you can see it's completely, completely rotten. Look at that, nice bit of woodworm. Insane. Absolutely crazy. Uh, and you can see down. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, I shouldn't laugh. But you can see down to the, um, the lower level and you can see where the beam is completely, completely broken. And that there is not good, okay? Just to be clear, this whole thing is not good. Thumbs down, thumbs down. But in all honesty, it's just a matter of perspective. And the perspective is, yes, there's a hole in the floor. But the whole floor's kind of sagging anyway. So it just needs coming up. And that beam that's cracked in half needs uh, replacing. 
Not a problem. It's a matter of, well, just doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. So I don't see it as a major issue. It, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a major issue in the sense that it's a new floor, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is all coming up. Oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Apologise. Uh, so yeah, this, this, this whole floor, this whole floor here, all of it, the whole dirt floor, and in here, in fact, where we've just cleared today, all of this, the tiles, and there's dirt floor underneath, I'm taking the whole lot up, okay? Call it overkill, call it whatever you want, the floor is uh, coming up. Just has to be done, it has to be done. But, lucky for me, on the lower level, it's just a wooden floor. And that is absolutely fine. But I'm not comfortable with having these old dirt floors with all that weight on it. It's just not, it's no bueno, no bueno, not good. No bueno. And some people might think the presence of woodworm is a major issue. And, well, <laughs> yes, you're kind of right. But it's all a matter of perspective, okay? Positive attitude. The whole floor's coming up anyway. It's all good. And in France, um, <laughs> I know in America you use a lot of wood to make houses. Well, in France, they're made of stone. So we are all good. The house is not gonna come down yet. And here in the hole, we can see the presence of uh, the woodworm, the holes there, in that, that main beam, the supporting beam. So, there you go. The culprit is woodworm. Very good. There we have it everyone. I will admit, the woodworm does come as a shocking revelation. I wasn't expecting it in the slightest, and I don't think you were either. But that's what happens when you renovate these old houses. You make these discoveries along the way where you think, what on earth is going on? But hey, it's all part of the fun. And I must admit, I did have fun today. Now, you just saw me dig up that area, uh, which was the worst area in that room, and uh, place a board uh, over the, the hole to secure it. And that's why I started with that area. But uh, when actually, well, when digging up the rest of the room, I will, of course, start from the furthest point and work my way to the door. Woodworm. Who would have thought woodworm? Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed getting on with things. Very good, very fun, very fun, very fun. Woodworm? Woodworm. Okay, I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Woodworm for now, bye for now.